Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenna from AbundantBoss.com and today we are talking about how to do less in your business but actually make more money. Pretty fun, right? I'm a huge fan of essentialism and simplicity and minimalism in your business and your life because I'm all about doing less, being more intentional, but actually making a bigger impact and creating more abundance from doing that. So I'm gonna share three tips with you. Let's get straight into it. Tip number one is to know your income generating tasks and prioritize them. So this is how most people spend their morning. They wake up and they are doing all the urgent stuff first. They're putting out fires everywhere, emails, social media, everything that we feel that we have to do. And then we get exhausted and by the end of the day, we're thinking, oh my God, I didn't promote anything today or I didn't create that e-course that I really needed to or I didn't follow up with those potential clients. Crap, what am I doing? So what we need to do is we need to get really intentional and create that sacred moment first thing in the day when we can work on our income generating tasks. These are things that are not urgent, but actually important. These are the growth tasks in our business, the things that actually move us forward. So what I recommend doing is identifying your top three income generating tasks and do them every single day. It might just take 20 minutes, it might take half an hour, but doing that first thing before you go into Instagram land and there's like people's photos everywhere or emails bombarding you, before any of that happens, do your income generating tasks first thing. They're usually the things that might scare you a little or maybe bring up some fear, and that's a good thing because when we get them ticked off first thing in the morning, we actually create that momentum and we build that inner confidence at the same time. So take the action, build the confidence and focus on the tasks that are actually going to bring you cash and clients. Tip number two is to keep things simple but significant. So this means doing a beautiful edit and review of your business and your time, your energy. What are you actually focusing on and where are you putting your energy? So I spoke about this briefly in tip number one with identifying those income generating tasks, but this tip is about understanding that you don't have to do all the things and be everywhere at once. You can actually focus down and stay in your own lane do things that are aligned to your strengths, that feel natural, that improve and enhance your natural gifts, and double down on those things. For example, social media, you don't have to be on every freaking platform out there. Why don't you choose one to two key platforms that you wanna really grow a solid following on, build that connection, and not worry about the other ones. You can automate them, you don't even have to do them. I don't even use Twitter, I don't remember the last time I did, and I don't intend to in the future. So it's okay to just double down Keep things really simple and focused on what feels good for you. Because again, this is your business, it's your rules, and we wanna be working on the things that light you up, that you know you can stick to consistently. So do an edit of your business. Where are you spending your time? What needs to be focused on? What needs to be let go of? And what can you outsource or automate? Make sure everything that you're doing is really intentional, simple, and significant. My final tip is to surrender to allow sales to come to you. So this is all about using your energy to manifest that money and abundance into your business. So often we are doing all of the things that aren't necessarily bringing in money and we have this kind of desperate energy to it. It's like, oh, I've got to make my income goal. Okay, I'm going to do this, this and this, but it doesn't necessarily feel right for us or it doesn't feel aligned. So if you feel like you're in that space where things feel scarce and you've got that desperate energy to to make your income goals, I want you to just take a deep breath and allow yourself to surrender and step back. What you can do here is you can actually use your energy to manifest money and become an energetic match for abundance. So how we do this is we actually need to firstly detach from the outcome and surrender, and then we need to focus on being the woman that already has that income. We need to bring the energy of the person that has already reached her goals and show up with that beautiful energy. It's this energy of a deep inner belief in yourself, that unbreakable faith that things are working out for you and that income is flowing to you no matter what. And guess what? You don't need to hustle your way to do that all the time. Sure, you need to take big guided action and work on those income generating tasks that we spoke about, but you can also surrender and create space for that income to flow. 
So take a deep breath and create space every single day in your business where you can simply surrender and allow yourself to tune into that inner worthy woman that is confident and worthy and knows that that money is flowing to her. That is the energy that you need to bring and that is how you surrender to more success and sales. So to recap how to do less but make more in your business, it's to focus on those income generating tasks and don't worry about the other stuff that is distracting you in your business. Keep things simple but significant and let your energy manifest for you by surrendering and creating sacred space. I'll see you next time.